are so honored to have with us the governor of West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice, and he's here to make a special presentation. Uh, well, I'm going to turn it over to him, and then I want to take a little bit of time right after, and unless I should do it now, introduce the rest of Whatever you like Okay, to do. let me. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm hey, I'm new at this game. No, no, you're doing great. I'm new at this game. Now, uh, I want to take this opportunity to uh, introduce uh, those dignitaries that are here and uh, a lot of people that made this happen. We have with us County Commissioners, President Mark Scott, Dave Teasley, and uh, Chris C., Executive Director of the Randolph County Development Authority, Robbie Morris. Brett Dusenberg from the uh, op office of uh, Mooney. Mooney. Alex Mooney. Lynn Phillips from the governor's office. Shane, uh, Shane Whitehair, Region 7 Development Authority. And the group that has really made a lot of this happen, civil and environmental consultants. They are here today. They're out of Bridgeport. Great group. We love them. But they're the ones that stood behind us. They worked with us. They, they gave us the confidence to move forward. And that's what we wanted. Because uh, this system has been in dire need of replacement for years. It's 50, it'll be about 53 years old. And I've gotten up more than one night at 3 a.m. and I had a good team supporting me. Devanna Corley, Executive Director. Sec Matt Fluharty, we think the world of you guys. Uh, Zach Weaver, Dave Watson, and there's one other guy that used to work for CEC who really initiated a lot of this, and he's present today. And I want uh, Jamie Schaefer to stand, please. one day and he said, hey, let's try this. I, I work for a firm that we're willing to jump in feet first and work on it. Then I have two very, very able operators uh, that I'm so proud of. Chief Operator Jeff Nutter and Robbie Sylvester. Robbie, Two operators, and we're proud to have them. Uh, I want to thank Colton Elementary School. They provided us with the sound system and the flags. We're very appreciative of that. St. Patrick's Catholic Church for opening their doors. And by the way, this was recently renovated. We were here last night till 10 o'clock cleaning. <laughs> now, uh, with law enforcement, I have uh, with us today. Our uh, newly elected Randolph County Sheriff, Rob Elvin. Rob, we're pleased to have you. And I won't, I won't hold you. Mayor of Elvin. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> they, they won't let, he won't let me forget. No, uh, we have a native son. He grew up from, just across from me. And also, he was one of my students, and I'm so proud of him. His name is Jerry Marco Jr., and he's recently elected as new mayor of Elkins, West Virginia. And we're so proud of him, Jerry. system and 
we climbed uh, on top of buildings and cut trees off and everything. So this is going to be a plus. But with us today are town recorder Carol Sylvester. <laughs> council, council member Donna Long. <laughs> Pat Rossi. <laughs> Jim Ross. <laughs> Brian Schaefer. everything that we have done so we're proud of it now I'm going to turn it over to somebody that's better speaking and we're proud of the governor for his efforts in all this and also his efforts to control COVID oh, yeah. it's a very vital part and we're proud of it <laughs> they always said the only way to handle the bull is grab him by the horns and shake him. and I think Governor Justice has done that. We're proud of him. And I'm going to let, sir, Governor Jim Justice of the great state of West Virginia. Well, Mayor, and all of y'all, and let me just kind of pull this down to maybe right here. But I would say just this to you. You know, I came here a good while back when the mayor's brother, but when the mayor's brother, Mike, had me up here and you probably don't know this about me, but uh, I have, I've spent an awful lot of time in the mountains all around you, because I've spent a lot of time grouse hunting all through this area, and I've enjoyed those days in the woods, but I've absolutely learned and had the ability to get to know a bunch of you. And absolutely today, you know, I could sit here as a politician and say, you know, I approved this, did all this, and all this kind of stuff and everything, but really and truly, at the end of the day, you did all this. You absolutely have done every bit of this. All I have really done is just kind of wallow along behind and been supportive. You can't imagine the power in community, and the power in neighbors, and the power in belief, and the power that I know that brings you together all the time. There's no question that absolutely revamping this whole project is vital to this community. It's vital to your elementary school. It's vital to bringing jobs and hope right here to you. But you've done it. You've done it. Absolutely all the way through. All the nights at 3 o'clock in the morning. All the calls to everybody coming or going. And so today is the culmination of you. The culmination of goodness from community and love for your neighbors. For this great town that needs a shot in the arm. As did, as did West Virginia. Now let me tell you, just listen to me really, because I'm, I'm the guy that doesn't talk from notes. I'm the guy that just speaks the truth. At times, I get myself in real trouble because I absolutely just speak exactly what I think. You know, a reporter from the Washington Post asked me the other day, he said, well, what do you have to say to those that don't believe in what you're talking about here that it's not going to work? And I said, and I could have said something a little different, but I said, as far as I'm concerned, they can kiss my butt. Because really and truly, I am absolutely going to first and foremost do all I possibly can 
to look after you, to look after West Virginia. I don't speak from the standpoint of a politician because I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican or Independent because really and truly, first and foremost, we ought to all be West Virginians. And then we ought to all be Americans. This country has too much divide going on right now. And we've got too many serious, serious issues. Now I want to tell you just this, and this is just a, nothing but a shot across your bow. If you haven't been vaccinated, you need to do so. And absolutely with all in me, I would tell you, just because, just because you may think, well, my God, I ain't doing it. You know, that's really not only exposing yourself, but it's really exposing all of us. Because this thing can whiplash again on us, and it would be really bad. We've got it beat, and we've got it on the run. But we're going to have to make sure that people, you, community, help one another to get us all the way across the finish line. You know, I say it all the time in briefings, but it's really true. You know, I'm kind of broke up now and, and got bad knees and all that kind of stuff, but I used to run, run through these mountains. And without any question whatsoever, always the steepest part of the mountain is near the top. It's always that way. You know, when you start off in the bottom, it's not too bad. But most people, when they get to the steepest part of the mountain, they slide back down. And before you know it, most people just want to give up. We're right there right now as far as beating this thing. All of you great people are here with masks on. Me too. We've got it beat. But absolutely, if we don't watch out, we'll slide back down. And before you know it, it'll turn around and whiplash and get us. And just think about this. I know your mayor has been a basketball coach. I'm the same. Now just fathom this. We won our first game this year in our sectional. Came back, beat Princeton. Get on the way in our next game to play Woodrow. The day after we played the Princeton game and came back in that game and lucky to win it because my team really wasn't very good, to tell you the honest truth. You know, they won 14 games and lost five, but in all honesty, they just weren't very good. They're great kids, but the talent and everything, we lost everybody, and then we had two or three kids move away, and it just really, really was tough. But we beat Princeton, and now we're on to play Woodrow, and boom, the day after, we got a kid tested positive for COVID. And then, the very next day, another one. We forfeited the Woodrow game. We, we, that means we're the runner-up in the section, and we got to go to GW to play in the region on the next Wednesday. The next Tuesday, I'm sorry, the next Thursday. The next Wednesday, we had five more test positive. We had to, we, that's when we had to drop out of everything. But now let me just tell you this. You had a 70-year-old coach, a 77-year-old assistant coach, and a 79-year-old assistant coach. What if we hadn't been vaccinated? What if we hadn't been vaccinated? None of us got it. But without any question, the odds are you have lost one of us. You may have even lost the governor. Now, I am telling you, you have absolutely everything right at your fingertips. You now have the repairs and, and the revamping of your water system. It's going to absolutely be so much good. It will absolutely do so much good, it'll be unbelievable. You can't possibly, possibly expect to grow if you don't have a water system. And you can't possibly expect goodness at your elementary school if you don't have a water system. You've got, you deserve, you deserve a great, great, great water system. It's all there's to it. And it's been way, 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 way too long. The things are... Things are really, really changing in West Virginia. And we're right on the cusp right now. 
are really going really, really by, by leaps, giant leaps. I absolutely mean this with all my soul. I love you. I love each and every one of you. And I don't want anything. I never have. All I want is goodness for you. You know, if we could bottle up this country, and then I'll be done. If we could bottle up this country that fights and is divided in every way and shooting at each other and everything else all the time. If we could bottle them up and bring them right here, right now. And let them see you. Let them just see how great you are. Absolutely, they could really learn something. I congratulate you in every way. I am so proud of you and I'm glad to just be able to come and be a teeny, teeny, teeny part. And if you absolutely, and you know, and I would have come if anybody would come to me, but Brother Mike came to me and said, you know, he wants me to come. I said, you got it. I'm here. So anyway, I would appreciate in every way your prayers as things go forward because we've surely got to be prayerful in everything we do. But let me tell you, it's a great day for Cole. And it's a great day for all you guys, and you have done it, and I am so proud of you. So let me let me present this to you, and uh, and then I'll put my mask back on. But what this says is, it says for the state of West Virginia, West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection, abandoned mine, mine land grant. This is to certify that a grant of $3,325,000 has been awarded to the town of Colton, West Virginia, and then, no, I can't pronounce it. For now, for, I, I, it, I'm not even going to try because I'll embarrass myself, but a lot, for water system improvements and everything. And then it has my signature, and what I can't pronounce is W O M E L S. That's good. You're close to so, so it's pronounced Colton. <laughs> God bless you.